Yeah, this will be a project on here soon. This is a early 60s Sears Suburban. And I am planning on putting a hit and miss engine on there. I have yet to find the hit and miss engine, but uh, that is the plan. Let's take a quick look here. So this particular setup has a CVT type transmission with a belt. There's your input to the transmission. And here is your CVT speed control, essentially. This, no, this lever would control speed. This one here is forward and reverse. Uh, I think it had like a 19 horse on it originally. This is a five horsepower. Somebody was trying to rig up on it. I don't know if they were ever successful at it. It is a Briggs and Stratton, but sold by Montgomery Wards. This is kind of neat. This is the engine I grew up on, essentially. This style, Briggs and Stratton, is the first engine I've ever taken apart as a kid. So that'll be kind of neat to play with. Um, anyway, it's mostly in good shape. There's your brakes. The steering seems to be pretty tight. So not too big a deal there. I'm not super familiar with these tractors, but it does have a three-point hitch on it. <laughs> Some interesting stuff. The uh, axle on the right side looks like close to an inch and a half. On the left, we're at about an inch. <laughs> not sure why that's set up, but that's kind of interesting. Seat steering wheel is a little bit offset to the left. But... It'll be neat to play with and see what we got. I'm seriously considering making a will it run video off of it as it sits before I uh, take it all apart and put a hit and miss on it. Be kind of neat. Engine seems to have compression, fuel tank's clean. It's got good gas in it. Somebody's tried to start it, I guess, but there is no spark. Um, it did also come with both belts. So I do have belts to throw on it if I want to see if I can get it to run with that. This uh, pulley here is supposed to slide. It's seized up. It doesn't move very good. So we'll have to take care of that. But Anyway, might be a fun project. Might go two parts. Get it running as is just to try it out. And then eventually put a hit and miss engine on it. Stay, stay tuned for this one. I don't know the time frame, but something will happen.